The ocean is full of amazing animals from cute dolphins to beautiful coral reefs. But there are also some very scary and dangerous ones that we're going to talk about today. Malcolm Walker here on Wild But True. First up, let's talk about the box jellyfish. It's considered among the most venomous creatures in the world. Box jellyfish have four boxes, hence the name. And each box has thousands of stinging cells. They can grow to be about the size of a soccer ball. And they re-found in coastal waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, as well as the Mediterranean Sea. While most jellyfish sting and then let go, so you can survive if you get to shore. Box jellyfish hold on to whatever they sting until it's too late. Their stinging cells are shaped like tiny harpoons, and their venom contains several toxins, one of which can melt human skin. If you're stung by a box jellyfish, ULL bleed profusely and go into shock before even having a chance to get out of the water. If someone is stung by one of these beasts, you have to immediately pluck the tentacles off by hand, because scrubbing with seawater or a credit card can break the unfired cells and make things worse. Then the person needs to be plunged into ice water for an hour to slow the pain signals going to the brain. Even then, they might not make it. One Australian woman who was stung by a box jellyfish in 2006 died within five minutes, despite being rushed to a hospital less than 100 meters away. There's no anti-venom for box jellyfish stings, so your best bet is to stay far, far away from them. Our next creature is even smaller than the box jellyfish, but just as deadly. Meet the blurring octopus. It's a small octopus found in the Pacific Ocean ranging from Japan to Australia. Blue-ringed octopus are only about the size of a golf ball and often blend in with their surroundings. That means it's easy to grab one along with some seaweed or other aquatic plants when scuba diving or snorkeling. Divers who do unknow what they re-grabbing might find themselves suddenly stung multiple times by this animal. A sharp beak and held fast by its sticky saliva. Since blue-ringed octopus are so tiny, it takes less than a milligram of their venom to kill a human. Their venom contains tetrodotoxin, a powerful neurotoxin that causes paralysis by blocking sodium channels in nerve cells. This prevents nerves from sending signals to muscles, meaning you can't move, breathe, or pump your heart. The good news is that blue-ringed octopus venom doesn't affect the eyes or ears, so you can still see and hear everything around you while you're dying. As painful as that must be, though, imagine how much worse it would be if you were fully aware but couldn't do anything about it. The worst part is that there's no anti-venom for blue-ringed octopus stings and death occurs within minutes. So once you've been stung, there's no opportunity for a rescue operation. Just have to hope that you can hold your breath long enough to survive. If you thought the blue-ringed octopus was small, you haven't met the stonefish. Stonefish are actually a group of 40 or so species of fish that are known for being extremely venomous. They hang out on the seafloor, blending in with rocks and coral. Some species can even change color to match their surroundings some stonefish are even bioluminescent. Basically, stonefish have evolved to be masters of disguise. They're also pretty good at defending themselves. When threatened, stonefish can puff up their bodies, making themselves look bigger and more intimidating. But their spines are their main weapon. Many stonefish have between 8 and 12 spines on their back, but some have many more. And each spine has a hollow tube filled with venom. The venom is a mixture of at least 12 different compounds, all of which serve to prolong the pain of being stung. Once stung, you'll feel intense burning and throbbing pain that lasts for hours. Depending on where you're stung and how much venom you get, you could go into shock, lose consciousness, and die. Unlike the previous two animals, stonefish aren't unprovoked attackers. They usually only sting when handled or stepped on, which makes sense since they spend their whole lives stuck to the bottom of the ocean floor but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. In fact, every year, people die from being stung by stonefish. The only way to reduce the risk of a stonefish sting is to wear protective gear like shoes and gloves when wading into shallow water. Owie. And if you get stung, you need to get vinegar or lemon juice on the affected area immediately. Then you should pluck the spines out with tweezers if possible, because that will disturb the unfired cells less than scrubbing with seawater. Finally, you'll need pain medication, and maybe even anti-venom. So yeah, keep an eye out for stonefish if you plan on going underwater anytime soon. But if you want to know what a truly painful sting feels like, try getting stung by a cone snail. Cone snails live in warm coastal waters all over the world. 
Some are beautifully colored and patterned, while others are nearly impossible to see. All cone snails have a distinct tooth in the center of their mouths. The tooth is grooved and hollow and works like a harpoon when a cone snail stings you. It shoots its tooth into your skin and injects a cocktail of at least 100 different compounds into your bloodstream. These compounds paralyze you and the snail slowly swallows you whole. Thankfully, most types of cone snail aren't deadly to humans, although some can cause lingering pain. But one type, the cigarette snail, packs enough venom to kill you in less than 24 hours. You can't pull the tooth out yourself because it breaks off inside your body, and there's no universal anti-venom for cone snail stings. So your best bet is to get vinegar poured on you right away. That might not stop the pain, but it will prevent the snail from firing its tooth and ensure that any additional venom it injected stays put. Bye. If you survive, you'll probably need painkillers and even a ventilator to help you breathe. Finally, we come to the lionfish. This large, beautiful fish with flowing fins and striking colors is venomous. Its spines contain a potent venom that causes excruciating pain. Ow. In fact, the only thing worse than being stung by a lionfish is stepping on one. When threatened, lionfish can puff themselves up, making their spines more difficult to damage. But divers often make the mistake of reaching out to touch them anyway. When touched, a lionfish contracts its spines and injects venom into you. The pain is unbearable, and the wound quickly becomes infected. Although lionfish are found in the Atlantic Ocean, from Southern California to Brazil, as well as in the Indo-Pacific region, they don't typically target humans. In fact, attacks are rare. But it's still important to be aware of their presence if you plan on going scuba diving. Even if you don't get stung, seeing one of these beauties can make your day. And if you want to learn more about minute long topics, subscribe for more fun science videos.